British financier and philanthropist Jacob Rothschild of the Rothschild Banking Dynasty has died at the age of 87. The FBI just made a jaw-dropping discovery about Jacob Rothschild that's shaking the world. This revelation is a game changer. Join us as we unravel the astonishing twists together. Jacob Rothschild's death fuels dynasty misinformation. The Rothschild family has a storied history in the world of banking, dating back to the 18th century. Their rise to prominence began with Meyer Amschel Rothschild, who established a banking business in Frankfurt, Germany. Over time, the family's influence and wealth grew exponentially, making them one of the most powerful and affluent families of their time. During the Napoleonic Wars from 1799 to 1815, the Rothschilds financed various military campaigns, including those of the British Army. This strategic move proved to be highly lucrative, as it allowed them to establish strong connections with influential figures in the political and financial spheres. As a result, their wealth expanded rapidly, and they diversified their investments into industries such as railroads, mining, and real estate. However, it is important to note that the claims of the Rothschild family's control over central banks and their immense wealth are nothing more than baseless conspiracy theories. These claims have been perpetuated by anti-Semitic sentiments and have no factual basis. We must turn to reputable sources and estimates to understand the true extent of the Rothschild family's wealth. According to the Sunday Times list of the wealthiest people in Britain, the Rothschild family's net worth was estimated to be around £825 million in 2023, which is just over $1 billion. This figure is significantly lower than the exaggerated claims circulating on social Social media. Furthermore, Bloomberg's lists of the world's richest people and families do not include any Rothschilds. The former is headed by Elon Musk, with a net worth of $213 billion as of February 28, while the latter is led by the ruling Al Nahyan family of the United Arab Emirates, with a net worth of approximately $300 billion. These lists provide a more accurate representation of the world's wealthiest individuals and families, debunking the notion that the Rothschilds hold unimaginable wealth. It is worth mentioning that the Rothschild family family's main banking company, Rothschild & Co., has a market capitalization of roughly $3 billion as of late February 2024. Another company associated with the family, the Swiss-based financial firm Edmund de Rothschild, has a market value of approximately $1.3 billion. These figures further highlight the disparity between the actual wealth of the Rothschilds and the exaggerated claims propagated by conspiracy theorists. One of the most persistent claims surrounding the Rothschild family is their alleged ownership and control of of central banks, particularly the Federal Reserve in the United States. However, these claims are entirely false and have been debunked by reputable sources and experts. Let's start by addressing the claim that the Rothschilds own the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is an independent agency established by Congress in 1913. It operates under the oversight of a board of governors, whose members are nominated by the US President and confirmed by the Senate. The Rothschild family, like any other private individuals, does not have ownership or control over the Federal Reserve. In fact, most of the world's central banks are state-owned institutions, with a few exceptions that have some private investors. According to a blog post from the Bank of England, the majority of central banks are owned by governments and operate in the public interest. For example, the Bank of Japan requires 55% state ownership, while the European Central Bank is owned by the central banks of European Union member states. Claims that the Rothschilds own central banks in France and other countries have also been debunked. In 2020, AFP, a reputable fact checking organization found no evidence to support these claims. The Rothschild family's involvement in banking does not equate to ownership or control of central banks. To further debunk these claims, we can look at the websites of Rothschild and & Company and Edmund de Rothschild, the two main banking companies associated with the family. Neither of these websites mentions any investments or ownership in central banks. This lack of evidence further supports the conclusion that the Rothschilds do not own or control central banks. It is essential to rely on accurate information and credible sources when evaluating claims about the Rothschild family or any other topic. Conspiracy theories often rely on sensationalism and misinformation to spread fear and mistrust. By critically examining the facts, we can separate truth from fiction and combat the spread of misinformation. Debunking these central bank ownership claims is crucial not only for the Rothschild family, but also for combating anti-Semitic conspiracy. Theories The Rothschilds have long been the target of baseless accusations and stereotypes rooted in anti-Semitism. 
racism. It is important to recognize and reject these harmful narratives that perpetuate prejudice and discrimination. In conclusion, the claims that the Rothschild family owns and controls central banks are false and have been debunked by reputable sources. The Federal Reserve and other central banks are independent institutions with oversight from governments and regulatory bodies. By understanding the facts and relying on credible sources, we can counter misinformation and promote a more informed and nuanced understanding of the world. Join us in the next section as we address the myth of the evil banker and its connection to the Rothschild family. The death of Jacob Rothschild has sparked a resurgence of misinformation surrounding the Rothschild family. However, it is important to separate fact from fiction and rely on credible sources to evaluate these claims. The Rothschild family's wealth and influence have been exaggerated and distorted, with sensationalized figures and conspiracy theories circulating on social media. Reputable sources such as the Sunday Times and Forbes provide more accurate estimates of the family's net worth, which are significantly lower than the claims made online. Additionally, the Rothschilds do not own or control central banks, including the Federal Reserve. These claims have been debunked by experts and fact-checking organizations. Jacob Rothschild's death Jacob Rothschild, the renowned financier and member of the influential Rothschild banking family, has tragically passed away at the age of 87. His death marks the end of an era for one of the world's most powerful families. Jacob Rothschild, born in Berkshire in 1936, led a remarkable life that began with a privileged upbringing and a strong foundation for success. He was educated at the prestigious Eton College, where he honed his intellect and developed a keen interest in finance. After completing his studies at Eton, Rothschild went on to pursue a degree in history at Christ Church, Oxford. It was during his time at university that Rothschild's path in the world of finance began to take shape. Following in the footsteps of his esteemed family, he joined N.M. Rothschild and Sons, the renowned family bank, in 1963. This marked the beginning of his career in the financial sector and his immersion into the world of high finance. At N.M. Rothschild and Sons, Jacob Rothschild quickly proved himself to be a capable and astute banker. He demonstrated a deep understanding of the intricacies of the financial world and showcased his ability to navigate complex transactions with ease. His dedication and commitment to his work earned him the respect and admiration of his colleagues. Rothschild's rise within the family bank was swift and he soon found himself in a position of influence and responsibility. His sharp business acumen and strategic thinking allowed him to make significant contributions to the growth and success of the bank. He played a crucial role in expanding the bank's operations and establishing its reputation as a leading financial institution. However, despite his accomplishments at NM Rothschild and sons, tensions began to arise within the family. In 1980, Jacob Rothschild made the difficult decision to part ways with the family bank after a falling out with his cousin, Sir Evelyn de Rothschild. This marked a turning point in his career and set the stage for his future endeavors. Undeterred by the familial rift, Jacob Rothschild embarked on a new chapter in his life. He sought to establish his own financial empire and carve out a name for himself independent of the family legacy. With his vast knowledge and experience in the financial sector, he founded his own wealth management fund which would become the cornerstone of his future success. Rothschild's new venture, driven by his entrepreneurial spirit and determination, flourished in the City of London. His investment trust, RIT Capital, became a prominent player in the financial landscape, attracting investors and generating substantial returns. Under his leadership, RIT Capital thrived and solidified Rothschild's reputation as a powerful financier. The decision to break away from the family banking dynasty was a bold move, but it allowed Jacob Rothschild to forge his own path and leave an indelible mark on the financial world. His success as an independent financier showcased his resilience and unwavering commitment to his craft. Jacob Rothschild's influence extended far beyond the realm of finance. Throughout his life, he demonstrated a deep commitment to philanthropy and a passion for supporting the arts and charitable causes. His impact on these spheres was profound and far-reaching. Rothschild's philanthropic endeavors were guided by a genuine desire to make a positive difference in the world. He was a staunch supporter of charitable causes in Israel and Jewish culture Culture, dedicating his time, resources and influence to uplift these communities. His contributions ranged from supporting educational initiatives to funding healthcare programs and promoting social welfare. One of the notable organizations that benefited from Rothschild's philanthropy was the National Lottery Heritage Fund. He served as the chairman of this esteemed organization, which aimed to preserve and protect the cultural heritage of the United Kingdom. Under his leadership, the National Lottery Heritage Fund thrived, enabling countless projects to restore historic landmarks 
conserve precious artifacts and promote cultural diversity. Rothschild's passion for the arts was evident in his long-standing patronage of the National Gallery. He not only provided financial support, but also served as the chair of its board of trustees from 1985 to 1991. During his tenure, the National Gallery flourished, hosting groundbreaking exhibitions, acquiring significant artworks and fostering artistic collaborations. Rothschild's unwavering dedication to the arts ensured that the National Gallery remained a vibrant cultural institution. Beyond his involvement with the National Gallery, Rothschild's support for the arts extended to various other organizations and initiatives. He recognized the transformative power of artistic expression and its ability to inspire, educate, and unite communities. Rothschild's contributions helped fund scholarships, artist residencies, and cultural exchange programs, fostering creativity and nurturing emerging talent. In addition to his philanthropic and artistic endeavors, Rothschild was a passionate environmentalist. He recognized the urgent need to address environmental challenges and actively supported initiatives aimed at conservation and sustainability. His commitment to environmental causes was reflected in his personal life as well, as he championed eco-friendly practices and advocated for responsible stewardship of the planet. Rothschild's dedication to philanthropy, the arts and the environment earned him widespread admiration and respect. His impact was felt not only in the United Kingdom, but also on a global scale. His tireless work to advance peace in the Middle East further solidified his reputation as a compassionate and influential figure. The passing of Jacob Rothschild leaves a void in the philanthropic and cultural landscape. His unwavering support for charitable causes, his championing of the arts, and his commitment to environmental sustainability have left an enduring legacy. His impact will continue to be felt by the countless individuals and communities who have benefited from his generosity and vision. Jacob Rothschild's life was one marked by remarkable achievement, unwavering dedication, and a profound impact on the world around him. From his early days at NM Rothschild & Sons to his establishment of RIT Capital, Rothschild showcased his financial prowess and entrepreneurial spirit. However, his legacy extends far beyond the realm of finance. Rothschild's philanthropy, support of the arts, and commitment to charitable causes exemplify his deep compassion and desire to make a positive difference. His contributions to organizations such as the National Lottery Heritage Fund and the National Gallery have left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. His dedication to environmental sustainability further solidifies his legacy as a visionary leader. Jacob Rothschild's life was rich and fulfilling, both personally and professionally. Married to Lady Serena for over 50 years, their partnership epitomized love and support. Together, they weathered life's challenges, fostering a strong and loving bond based on shared value. The couple's marriage provided stability for Jacob and Lady Serena, navigating life's challenges with grace and commitment. Blessed with four children, they imparted a sense of responsibility and a passion for making a difference. The Rothschild children, following their parents' example, have gone on to lead remarkable lives in various fields. The family's commitment to philanthropy, instilled by Jacob and Lady Serena, transcends generations. The Rothschild children continue the legacy of giving back, aligning themselves with causes they are passionate about. Beyond their achievements, the family cherishes shared experiences and moments of joy, creating lasting memories. Lady Serena's passing in 2019 was a profound loss, but her memory lives on in the hearts of the Rothschild family. Jacob's role as a father and grandfather brought him immense happiness. His life, marked by a loving marriage and dedication to family, underscores the power of love and the importance of making a positive impact on the world. Jacob Rothschild's legacy encompasses extraordinary accomplishment, unwavering dedication, and profound impact. His passing leaves a void, but is positive. Changes endure a testament to a life well lived and the enduring power of love and philanthropy. The Dark Family That Founded Israel in the shadows of Frankfurt, Germany, a family emerged in the 18th century that would go on to shape the course of history. They were the Rothschilds, an influential banking dynasty that would become one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in the world. But behind their immense wealth and success lies a story shrouded in mystery and intrigue. In the narrow lanes of Frankfurt's Judengasse, a young man named Meyer Amschel Rothschild grew up amidst the harsh conditions of the city's Jewish quarter. Born in 1744, Meyer was raised in a world where Jewish residents faced numerous restrictions and limitations. Despite these challenges, Meyer's entrepreneurial spirit and determination would lay the foundation for a family empire that would span continents and shape the course of history. Meyer's journey into the world of finance began at a young age. His father, Amschel Moses Rothschild, was involved in the silk cloth trade and currency exchange. It was through his father's business that Meyer gained his first exposure to the world of commerce. As a teenager, Meyer's keen eye for detail and sharp business acumen became evident as he sorted coins acquired through 
Frankfurt's bustling trade fairs. Tragedy struck when Meyer's parents succumbed to smallpox, leaving him orphaned at the tender age of 12. Meyer found himself under the care of relatives who recognized his potential and sent him to apprentice with Simon Wolf Oppenheimer, a prominent Jewish banking house in Hanover. It was during this time that Meyer's horizons expanded as he learned about foreign trade, finance, and the intricacies of rare coins from ancient civilizations. The world of rare coins was not just a fascination for Meyer, it was a gateway to the elite circles of nobility. The collectors of these coins were men of immense wealth and influence, and the Jewish bankers who transacted with them, known as court Jews or court factors, held a unique position in society. Meyer's exposure to this world of privilege and power would shape his ambitions and set him on a path to greatness. At the age of 19, Meyer returned to Frankfurt and joined his brothers in the family trading business established by their father. Meyer's expertise in rare coins caught the attention of Crown Prince Wilhelm of Hesse, who had previously purchased coins from Meyer's father. This connection proved to be a turning point in Meyer's career, as it opened doors to other financial services and allowed him to develop ties with other nobles. Crown Prince Wilhelm, who later assumed the title Wilhelm IX, Landgrave of Hesse Kessel, became a patron of Meyer and his growing business. In 1770, Meyer married Gutler Schnapper, the daughter of a money changer and court factor. Their union would prove to be a fruitful one, as Gutler gave birth to ten children, five sons, and five daughters. The Rothschild family tree began to take root, and Meyer vision of a family empire began to materialize. The Rothschild family's rise to prominence was not without its challenges. The French Revolution brought about a wave of political and social upheaval, but Meyer saw an opportunity amidst the chaos. He facilitated payments from Britain for the hiring of Hessian mercenary soldiers, profiting greatly from the conflict. This marked the beginning of the Rothschild's involvement in financing governments and their operations during times of crisis. As the 19th century dawned, Meyer's sons ventured out to establish banking operations in key European cities. Nathan Mayer Rothschild, the third son, achieved remarkable success in England. He set up a textile business in Manchester in 1798 and later moved to London to establish NM Rothschild, which would become one of the most influential banks in the world. The Rothschild's banking empire expanded rapidly, with branches in Naples, Vienna, Paris and London, in addition to their headquarters in Frankfurt. Their ability to lend to governments and finance war operations over several centuries provided them with ample opportunities to accumulate bonds and build additional wealth in various industries. The Rothschild family's reach extended far beyond the realm of finance. They were not content with merely accumulating wealth. They sought to leave a lasting impact on the world through their involvement in major infrastructure projects and diverse business interests. One of the most notable projects associated with the Rothschilds is the construction of the Suez Canal. This ambitious endeavor, which aimed to connect the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, was a feat of engineering that would revolutionize global trade and transportation. The Rothschilds played a pivotal role in financing the construction of the canal, contributing to its successful completion in 1869. Their involvement in this monumental project showcased their ability to shape the physical landscape and influence the course of history. Beyond infrastructure, the Rothschilds expanded their business interests into various sectors. They ventured into the hospitality industry, investing in hotels that catered to the elite and affluent. Their media ventures allowed them to shape public opinion and disseminate information. The Rothschilds also had a stake in transportation, with investments in railways that facilitated the movement of goods and people across vast distances. Their involvement in the wine industry further diversified their portfolio, with vineyards and wineries established in regions renowned for their viticulture. However, the Rothschild's influence was not limited to financial and business endeavors. They were deeply committed to philanthropy and made significant contributions to various causes. Their early philanthropic efforts were focused on the Jewish community, with support directly directed towards synagogues and the formation of the United Synagogue, an organization that streamlined the causes of smaller synagogues. As their wealth grew, so did their philanthropic reach, extending beyond the Jewish community to support causes in Paris and London. The Rothschilds played a crucial role in the development of Israel, contributing to the construction of housing and government buildings. They recognized the importance of education and allocated funds to support educational initiatives in Austria, France and Israel. The family's generosity extended to the arts, with an estimated 60,000 pieces of artwork donated to public institutions. Their contributions to social housing in London and Paris helped alleviate housing shortages and improve living conditions for many. The Rothschild's philanthropic efforts were not limited to monetary contributions. They actively engaged in the establishment of charitable foundations which supported public libraries, orphanages, hospitals, homes for the elderly and educational initiatives.
groups, their commitment to social welfare and cultural development left a lasting legacy that continues to benefit communities to this day. It is estimated that the Rothschild family's net worth exceeds $1.2 trillion, a testament to their financial acumen and business success. However, their wealth is not merely a symbol of power and influence, it is a tool that they have wielded to make a positive impact on society. The Rothschilds, dedication to philanthropy and their unwavering support for various causes have left an indelible mark on the world. As we delve deeper into the story of the Rothschilds, we uncover a family that not only amassed immense wealth, but also used their resources to shape the world around them. Their involvement in major infrastructure projects, diverse business ventures and philanthropic endeavors showcases their multifaceted contributions to society. The Rothschilds' legacy is one of ambition, innovation and a commitment to making a difference. From their humble beginnings in Frankfurt's Judengasse to becoming one of the wealthiest and most influential families in the world, the Rothschilds have left an indelible mark on history. Origins of Rothschild anti-Semitic myths the Rothschild family, known as the most famous European banking dynasty in modern history, has faced rampant anti-Semitism throughout their rise to power. As a Jewish family, they have become the target of conspiracy theorists who accuse them of using their wealth to control global financial institutions. These anti-Semitic claims, although proven false, continue to persist even in the 21st century. It was during the late 18th century that Maya Amschel Rothschild, the family patriarch, founded his first banking house in the German town of Frankfurt. Little did he know that his family's rapid accumulation of wealth and power would be met with an odious reaction, rampant anti-Semitism. As the Rothschilds expanded their banking enterprise, their influence grew, not only in Germany but across Europe. Their financial prowess allowed them to play a significant role in shaping local economies. For instance, one notable example was a Rothschild loan that paid off French war indemnities in the 1870s. Another instance saw the Rothschilds becoming the primary shareholders of the powerful Suez Canal Company, thanks to a strategic loan to the British government. However, their success and influence became a breeding ground for conspiracy theories. Being of Jewish descent, the Rothschilds were targeted by those who believed in the age-old stereotype of Jews, using their wealth to control global financial institutions. These anti-Semitic claims, although baseless and proven false, continue to persist even in the 21st century. But where did these myths originate? To uncover the truth, we turn to a political pamphlet that played a significant role in perpetuating these anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. In 1846, a political pamphlet titled Histoire édifante et curieuse de Rothschildière, roi des Juifs, the edifying and curious history of Rothschild verse King of the Jews, was published. Written by Georges Dernvail under the pseudonym Satan, this pamphlet narrated the history of the Rothschild family and their alleged influence in Europe. One passage in particular caught the attention of readers across Europe. It detailed the supposed involvement of Nathan Rothschild, one of the family members, in the Battle of Waterloo on June 18, 1850. According to the pamphlet, Nathan was rushed to the Belgian coast immediately after the battle and paid a fortune to cross the English Channel in the midst of a thunderstorm. The claim was that he arrived in London 24 hours before news of Napoleon's defeat was officially announced. The pamphlet, written under the pseudonym Satan, alleged that Nathan and his brothers made a sudden profit of 20 million francs, with a total profit of 135 million francs in that fatal year alone. However, extensive research by journalism professor Brian Cathcart has debunked these claims. Cathcart's research found that Nathan Rothschild was nowhere near Waterloo on June 18, 1815. There were no reports of a thunderstorm over the English Channel at that time either. While the Rothschilds did profit from the war effort against Napoleon, they did not make millions from announcing the Allied victory at Waterloo. The fact that these false claims were so readily believed speaks to the deep-rooted history of European anti-Semitism. The Rothschilds became the perfect scapegoats for those who sought to perpetuate anti-Semitic stereotypes, even respected institutions like the Encyclopedia Britannica fell prey to the influence of Dernval's pamphlet. In its 11th edition, published in 1910-11, to the Britannica entry on Rothschild chronicled the false claims as fact, further perpetuating the conspiracy theory. It is crucial to recognize that these anti-Semitic attacks on the Rothschild family have been thoroughly disproven, yet they continue to reveal the embedded nature of anti-Semitism in Western cultural consciousness. Despite extensive debunking and efforts to educate the public, conspiracy theories about the Rothschilds have only grown more outlandish since the publication of Dernweil's infamous pamphlet. One example that highlights the persistence of these myths occurred
occurred in March 2018. DC lawmaker Treyon White Sr. took to Facebook and alleged that the Rothschilds, the climate to create natural disasters they can pay for to own the cities. This baseless claim was tied to internet conspiracy theories surrounding the Rockefeller Foundation's Resilient Cities Initiative, which rewards cities for addressing environmental concerns in their communities. Treyon White's post gained significant attention and sparked intense controversy. However, what was most concerning was his ignorance regarding the origin of these claims. It became evident that influential figures like White were unknowingly or knowingly complicit in spreading these conspiracy theories. In an attempt to rectify his mistake, Trey and White worked with Jewish activist organizations to learn more about anti-Semitism. As an act of contrition, he visited the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in April of that year. However, White's visit to the museum took a catastrophic turn. According to the Washington Post, he made several comments that were widely panned as insensitive, and he abruptly left the museum halfway through his tour, refusing to comment on the reason for his departure. Trey and White's anti-Semitic treatment of the Rothschilds and his ignorance of Jewish suffering is reprehensible. His story serves as a stark reminder that conspiracy theories about the Rothschilds continue to persist and have real-world consequences. Trey on White is not alone in perpetuating these myths. Influential figures, knowingly or unknowingly, contribute to the spread of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. The power of misinformation and the deep-rooted nature of anti-Semitism in Western culture cannot be underestimated. It is crucial to recognize that these conspiracy theories have been thoroughly disproven. The Rothschilds, like any other family, have faced their fair share of scrutiny and criticism, but the anti-Semitic attacks against them are baseless and unfounded. As we continue to navigate the 21st century, it is imperative that we make a sustained effort to root out and challenge these conspiracy theories. Education, awareness and critical thinking are essential tools in combating the persistence of anti-Semitism. This was all from our side. Thank you for staying with us. If you enjoy our content, our newest videos are just a click away.